you guys are coming off the first Southland Conference Championship uh, in school history, uh, one of the greatest seasons in school history. It, season's coming up. What are some of the expectations, obviously, uh, for the 2018-19 the season? Well, you know, we're, we're certainly proud of what we did last year, but, you know, if you look back instead of ahead, uh, that's probably the direction you're going to go. We, we obviously are very proud of, of, of winning the conference championship, 22 games, and all the accomplishment from last year playing in the NIT for the first time in school history. But by the same token, we're not satisfied. Our goal was to get to the NCAA tournament. We fell a, a few seconds short last year in the conference championship game. So we're really excited. Uh, you know, we, we finally were able to get our rosters managed to the point that we have players returning each year. We've got a solid group of young men. We've had an outstanding offseason. We also had an outstanding recruiting class. And now, now what we have to find out is can we take those young men and, and they all develop into a team. Basketball is such a team-oriented game. Having those new recruits meshing with our older guys that are returning is going to be the big challenge. Talk about new recruits. You, you lost several guys as far as uh, Jordan Capps and Josh Fillmore. You return on uh, Marlon Bill, but who's kind of a newcomer that we may not know about? Well, we've got a great recruiting class. You know, we had two young men that set out last year uh, that, that are probably going to make an immediate impact, and that's Vaughn Julian from right down the road in reserve at, uh, played at Riverside Academy. Uh, and Maxwell Starwood, a big guy inside that played at University High in Baton Rouge. Both those guys came to us, set out and transfer. Had, had also a great recruiting class uh, of incoming new guys. Pop Jop, 6'8 forward from Senegal by way of Chipola uh, Junior College over in Florida. Uh, Jeremiah Saunders, one of the best players that we've probably recruited since I've been here. Young man from uh, down in Florida. Um, Ty Brewer, one of the best kids out of Mississippi, a dandy dozen kid out of Mississippi, and Willie LaPool from up in Monroe, a 6'8 forward. So those guys are all very talented. Overall, the best recruiting class that we've had since I've been here. Um, as far as your schedule goes, it looks like you got a really exciting, especially non-conference schedule with LSU and Lafayette on the schedule this year. Just kind of talk about that. Well, uh, you know, open at LSU, we have Ole Miss and Jackson. Those kind of games that are games that we've been fighting for for – to get on the schedule for a long time. Obviously, those are great challenges for us. But if we're ever going to make it to the top, which is our goal, we're going to have to not only schedule those people, be able to schedule those people, but we've got to go in there and compete with them and beat them sometimes, And even though it's a very tall order. and uh, But that, that's our goal. So uh, if you can't get excited about our schedule this year, and again, games that are within uh, proximity of Hammond, or Hammond you know, our, our Southeastern fans have an opportunity to see. Uh, those are two highlights, but uh, as usual, a very rigorous non-conference schedule, which we use to get us ready for tough league play. I'm not going to keep you much longer. As you can see, it's really crammed in here. Uh, what are you, you know, telling fans is your pitch to kind of get them out to the games this year? Well, you know, we've got one of the probably, in my opinion, one of the best players in Division One in Marlinville, and and he not only is. Um, uh, uh, an exciting player. He, he has been an incredibly productive player. Will probably go down along with his other senior, with Moses Greenwood, has been uh, for a four-year period. If we can have a good year this year, is one of the winningest classes we ever had. But he's exciting. If you and, and so many people from the southeastern or Hammond area, maybe not even southeastern fans, need to come watch him. He's worth the price of admission. But you have a good basketball team, a talented basketball team that plays hard. They play together, uh, and they're exciting to watch, in my opinion.